start asking second opinions. I'll probably end up with seven of them giving them five grand each and ending up with nothing myself. <laughs> that, that, that's the most likely outcome. <laughs> Then my six sisters would all want to have their opinions, you see. So I would have to go to each one of their psychiatrists and do and and, and pull something similar, you see. We'll try and take two, which is the the harder one. Right. Morning, Doctor Berg. Excuse me for walking in with this coffee, but <laughs> all right, Mister Wheat. That's me. Yes. That's no, me. Please sit down. Thank you. Mr. Weiss, uh, your mother rang me. She's a pain in the fucking ass. I wonder why you say this. <laughs> She's a pain in the ass because basically she has become my father. And she has. That, that, that really is the problem. Like in the olden days when I used to have rows with my dad, she always defended me. But now the defence has become the prosecution, you see. Now that he's gone, he was right about everything he was talking about, you know. When, when, when he was here, she was on my side, but, but he's gone and, and, and he's possessed her. And he's possessed all my sisters as well, because they all think like he thought. I couldn't stand the way he thought. So now I've got, instead of having one of them, I've got seven of them now. George, do you feel in any way that your mother and your sisters are, let's be frank, ganging up on you. Seems a good enough word, yes. Or well, are they simply possessed by the spirit of your father? They are certainly possessed, but not by the spirit of my father. They're possessed by the, by the shadow of my father, I would say, rather, rather than the spirit of my father. <laughs> Spirit of my father was okay. And he was always against you. <laughs>